So, um, dear ladies and gentlemen, it's really a pleasure for me, for me standing here. Um, and at this day, um, I'm suffering really uh, heavy jet lag just coming in from San Francisco. And I'm completely unprepared because <laughs> there was no <laughs> available laptop. <laughs> it, it was uh, not functional there where I was. So I hope uh, to fulfill your expectations and try my very best. <laughs> my the, the topic of my speech is design research and policy making. <coughs> How are, why are forms of this research are relevant? As you know, we have a lot of experiences in politics. How difficult it, it is really that research results are accepted. That, on the other hand, is of course necessary to get the acceptance and at least also the budget so that it is possible getting financed research programs. And of course, it's <coughs> especially necessary that it is accepted by a broader population um, and that is not easy looking at future challenges like the problems of traffic, energy, and for example, also in the field of water research. So, um, who is working especially um, on solving major social problems? Um, dealing with this, it was an interesting dialogue uh, within the Science Council in Germany and um, dealing and discussing the three major social science, uh, challenges was discussed some time and for a longer period of time and has resulted in the position paper on science policy discourse concerning social challenges uh, within the Science Council. The discussion within the Council consisting out of scientists and policymakers was really very difficult and diverse. It needed actually two re evaluation before the paper passed the way to voting. It contains, and that is the main point today, the following description how define those major social challenges um, so that uh, there's meant uh, grand challenges, social challenges, or global ones. Major social challenges or weak problems are characterized by complexity, intercontactness, lack of definition and a plurality of goals. They are not well-defined problems with specific actual and target state. Instead, the challenges have their own dynamic and continue to develop without intervention. Even though it is possible to address them on a regional level, it's their spe specific nature that they cannot be solved there, that they have a character with nationally or geographically um, uh, characteristics. In order to solve major social challenges, social problems are turned into scientific questions. In addition to product and process innovation, the development and support of social innovation can also be observed. The roots of scientific processing are to be found in research and innovation in the field of policy and the transition from the selection of specific topics 
to the thematically neutral improvement of the correctics characteristics, for example, of also innovation system. And dealing with this and looking uh, to the uh, next level in uh, Europe, also the direction there has given by founding um, special expert groups uh, the background of defining European research area. And they focused that the vision of also the, the level of research at European research area presented in the report is founded upon the principle that the core subjective should be maximize the value contributing by research today and into the future, and especially that uh, it should be evaluated how it um, gives effort to European economic, social, and environmental goals. A familiar and very vivid example for a global problem with global causes, which, is, which can be also addressed regionally, is, for example, the climate change. This, of course, is uh, a photo uh, not from the state of Brandenburg, but from somewhere. Uh, but what's the main point? This has also effects, for example, in one of uh, the states in uh, Germany. Perhaps you know that uh, Brandenburg is currently in this year uh, experiencing a massive summer drought, the most severe drought in southern Brandenburg for more than 50 years. And, um, it's calculated that, uh, there are, that there are heavily reductions of harvest. Although, for example, this country is rich in water courses, it is becoming, becoming increasingly water scarce, which in turn, in, in turn is leading really to heavy forest fires. On the other side, there have been repeated floods in the environment of the Elbe and River Oder, Oder. This shows that our designs close to watercourses are no longer sufficient, adapted to prevent losses of property, animals, and land. The relevant approaches are still experimental. So, um, to summarize these first points, the major social challenges are characterized by their great importance and as a consequence require special efforts for their solution. And I suppose one of the so solutions will be really uh, to deliver more possibilities for design research um, to solve the problems by a proper um, yes, method. Looking at the research reality, we um, have to conclude that uh, it, is very uh, it is very rare that new and in particular knowledge theory approaches are implemented in the field of applied sciences. In order to solve major social challenges, but uh, is it, on the other hand, of course, uh, necessary uh, to explore innovative scientific research, as I said, for example, research design. So it, it is really required uh, to discuss that, what you do uh, during the, this couple of days. However, looking at the um, situation in Germany, um, there are very few possibilities getting funding for research project because it's really the difficulty that uh, they do not have um, uh, an expected, at least in a classical way, scientifically utilizable result. It's really um, not easy to get uh, all that requirements. Uh, research foundations, um, yes, have to, um, have to get. 
so that it is possible uh, to um, to fund and uh, to find the budgets for doing, for example, um, this specific research. Um, of course, especially the Volkswagen Foundation, uh, they, they have a lot of possibilities, really, uh, to find possibility to find um, yes ways how they could manage that, but I think um, especially this foundation is one of the exceptions in looking in the or uh, evaluating the general situation of funding in Germany. Um, so it is really rare that you in particular those approaches uh, can be successful within the competition um, in different institutions. A number of expectations and very different examples of existing innovative research structures, um, you can find them in Germany, of course, and I only want to focus on um, a couple of them. Uh, on one hand, there's uh, some, or you can find some projects and line of lines of funding um, with, uh, within the umbrella funding of the German Research Foundation. For example, the Reinhard Konzelik projects stand for really more freedom, for especially innovative and in a positive sense, risk related research. Scientists who have made this specific scientific contribution are given the opportunity to conduct highly innovative and uh, risk relevant projects. They don't need really to describe uh, which and, uh, and why and where are the very uh, concrete uh, research results they expected? Um, it's, um, they, they have only to describe the way um, they want to go further, so it's, it's really unique. However, a special feature is that, again, it is the mainstream of the scientific community that evaluates especially innovative and in a positive sense risk relevant research. So um, it's, on the other hand, also not that easy to get something. The second one, um, Zukunftswerkstatt, a future workshop at the University of Constance. Uh, this special form of an element of the excellence initiative um, are designed to enable larger groups of people from different life situations um, with different educational levels and outlooks to come together for a longer period of cooperation and co-working. Um, the focus is uh, laying um, in, in order to engage with uh, their in immediate environment. Employing Zukunftswerkstätten as instrument of civic participation at the local level means providing people with the opportunity to engage in the political design process in a more intensive, innovative manner that has uh, previously been the case. So it's, it's really successful, but um, Yes, dependent um, on uh, specific and um, only temporary uh, resources, of course. <laughs> the next one, uh, at the level of institutional transformation, um, are those uh, things, th those uh, professional pathways uh, which are opened by the, the open topic tenure track professorship at the University in Dresden. In order to attract the world's best and most innovative scientists 
Gifts to Dresden and keep them there in order to integrate uh, them into the faculty bodies uh, to influence and uh, foster innovation within the structures of university. Um, those new type of professorship was conceived. Candidates are not chosen on the basis of the parameters of a classic vacancy announcement, <coughs> but as part of an active recruitment process. The research of applicants is carried out independent of the areas of expertise, denomination or job descriptions. Um, decisive factors are uh, solely those of the candidate's professional excellence and powers of innovation with respect to the scientific work uh, of the technical university. There was um, a special focus on outstanding young talents which at an um, early stage in the academic career have already demonstrated an extremely high scientific potential which are able really to combine different fields of uh, knowledge um, of different disciplines uh, who uh, conduct um, uh, an interesting new approach. After a period of five years then, and following an appropriate performance, the open topic tenure professorships reside in a perm permanent post. Summarizing that, um, on their own, many of the established resource paths are unable to conduct the innovative transdisciplinary research required to solve the major social problems. There are already attempts to establish new formations. However, they should uh, be given greater, greater attention and greater or um, more uh, sophisticated ways how to get Coming to the next point, um, how, um, how is the field of design research reflected in um, the area of political discussions? So uh, what is required, um, of course, are um, innovative research approaches. Um, a lot of people uh, working and discussing in this field are convinced that that is true. Um, three examples of research directions that have adopted new research methods and approaches um, are um, often uh, discussed and many of those who don't know exactly what um, is meant by the different uh, things I said, for example, um, design research, um, are social ecological research, artistic research, and design research. Looking at uh, the common feature, uh, feature of uh, those three families of research making are the use of know-how objects and their processing with the assistance of interactive communication together with an active, creative approach so that the know-how of both professionals and lay people in dealing with research is utilized and professionalized. The second uh, common feature is that a synthetic combination of expert knowledge from other disciplines and sources is used and necessary. Players from society are part of the research setting. The interaction between use and design determines also the result. The results cannot be foreseen at the beginning of the process. Um, that is, as I described, 
not easy to get the commitment uh, for open more of uh, budget for those ways. Um, how, um, for ex how the, the next question is how um, design research could be um, intensively more integrated into scientific research. Design research projects are conducted um, on an interdisciplinary basis in order to close the gap between technical innovation and the needs of society. The focus is on the user, the person, uh, in general on also aspects of society. The knowledge required to satisfy the needs to solve the problems is collated and synthesized from a broad range of experiences and objects from every imaginable source. In distinction to conventional research, the solution is not based on potential options defined in advance, but is adjusted to meet needs. So that design research um, is an innovative research approach, but how it is used. So I want to give um, only a few examples. In order, in order to meet the current social challenges, our society must be subjected to a comprehensive change process and applied at different time intervals. Science must take new paths in cooperation with social players. Social players are invited to participate in concrete research projects and processes. Through common experiences, learning and change processes can be pushed forward. There are already a number of examples of how this potential can be utilized through targeted funding programs and innovative research projects. Uh, be, um, one of the examples are the Real Labore in Baden-Württemberg. Um, I suppose Antje Stockmann uh, will explain uh, much deeper what is meant by that. Um, in Lower Saxony, there's a similar program, um, a program for science scientists for s in the field of sustained development. I think it's also uh, in combination with your foundation, isn't it? Um, but it just uh, started, so that perhaps the first project will start uh, during this year. Okay. In uh, this, under this umbrella of um, Real Labore, scientists engage with uh, real change processes. They um, accompany, for example, the refurbishment of city districts or the introduction of new mobility and energy systems. In this special form of research business, um, practitioners um, together with those of municipalities, social and environmental association, or business are included in the research process from the beginning. The research questions of an environmental association, an energy cooperative, or a cycling club um, can just as easily find their way into the research programs as, zo as those of a technical company. This open-ended process generates knowledge that proves effective in praxis. The very um, yes, new thing is how uh, to, uh, to follow the way how um, it get be professionalized and um, um, how similar or, um, or, or specific are the project results and how that really fits uh, to specific needs of um, engineer, uh, engineering processes in a special um, aspect. For research, it is clearly a complex challenge to be both 
participant and observer and really produce, on the other hand, results um, of that quality which is needed uh, to get the commitment for more funding and, and development of the field of research in this specific manner. The key is to find and maintain the right balance between the view from the inside and really to fulfill external perspective. Um, at least, <coughs> at least, um, only a few words uh, looking at the perspectives. How can design research formats now be integrated into established research funding? The following, uh, the following are of special relevance for the coming years. Such innovative research formats could or should be considered as part of the excellence initiative for the uh, following years. Um, looking at the, at the possibilities, um, it's interesting to look at the thematically specific clusters and especially the transformation to regional network clusters coming up now. Um, I, I suppose that um, there could be some additional perspectives if processed <coughs> those in a new form. It's really not easy to get, but um, yes, uh, you should try really to be integrated with your uh, questions and projects also in this field. Um, of current relevance, uh, looking at the topics of discussion, um, are those of integration, migration, demographic works, and qualification, uh, for example, also in the field of topics like climate change and environmental issues. On the other hand, and uh, to point out um, a second topic, research projects uh, which display a connection between cultural and research institutions, um, for example, in case of um, preservation, development, um, as well as the uh, in invigoration and utilization of world cultural heritage site, uh, to point out one um, example. What is at stake here has broad implication extending from questions of, uh, for example, a culture of remembrance and commemoration with history means to us today through to aspects of practical preservation and research. And pointing out a third, uh, point, uh, a third possibility, conceptual reworking of the challenges under the aspect of the acceptance of research conducted in society. Yes, um, one of those are, for example, the the project of CCS, I don't know whether you know, um, pressuring uh, uh, CO2 um, to the ground, um, it, it failed completely, uh, so that it is of course necessary to, re uh, yes, to, to rethink about those uh, challenges and to find new ways. And of course, all that dealing with the basic agreement um, and the problem of not in my backyard. Um, to summarize the last point, innovative research forms, such as design research, should be increasingly employed for the solution of a lot of major social challenges and promoted within projects. So I do my very best what I can do. But uh, I think you are those who 
will deliver good ideas and good projects so uh, that I'm interested to, to see uh, what is coming up and uh, how we, we could foster new ideas like uh, those from your side. Thank you.